Hey everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary gameplay video. Excited for you guys to be here. We're going to be doing another Marvel Legendary All-Stars episode. Excited for this one. So we uh, wrapped up with kind of all the op all the kind of the best of the best in terms of the core box. We had the best heroes, the best cards, things like that. Now we're moving into Dark City. So Dark City is officially added into the pool now. And today we're going to be playing with the top five highest ranked um, heroes in Dark City, at least, uh, at least according to the Big Old Top Discord channel, which, you know, is full of a lot of, like, really strong and really, in, like, enthusiasts in terms of Marvel Legendary, so I really do value their opinion. And uh, if you guys want to join us in the in the discussion of these heroes and ranking the cards and everything, just head over to the Big Old Top Discord channel, and you can join the tier, the tier list uh, channel. We post up one hero every single day, and it's a ton of fun. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. But uh, let's get into today, today's gameplay. So, top five, five heroes that are going to be in the hero deck. We've got Angel, Iceman, Bishop, Wolverine, and, oh boy, Domino. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, those are the top five ranked heroes in Dark City. And, I, and honestly, they're all absolute bangers, I would say. Like, there's not really any of them that I really question. I mean, I, I j just kind of a heads up. You're going to see Iceman from here on out for a lot. Iceman is uh, one of the highest ranked heroes in the game. I believe he's still ranked number one, and we are at, like in the middle of, of World War Hulk at the moment, or getting close to wrapping up World War Hulk. Um, but yeah, he's, I, I believe he is still number one, if I'm recalling correctly. But um, he's going to have the really long... And what's, you know what's really great about this? What I love about it is it's not just... At least, at least as of right now, the top five heroes in Dark City, not only do are they really, really strong, but they actually synergize extremely well. You got Wolverine and Domino being able to work off of each other in terms of the instinct um, um, class that uh, Wolverine requires. Um, Domino's uncommon card discards cards, which works works well with Angel. Um, Angel's com common card is a covert card, which activates whatever the cost, whatever the cost, and I whatever the cost, and all of Iceman cards just absolutely mesh together absolutely perfectly it's really great and bishop is just bishop honestly i think bishop is one of the strongest heroes in the entire game he's so focused around ko and abilities and he has card draw um his un his uncommon card is just pretty standard i would say but it's still just it packs a huge punk punch i absolutely love love his setup and uh yeah so I'm, I'm really excited to get into this game um let's just take a look at our scheme and mastermind for right now for the scheme let's do the scheme first we got ourselves trap heroes in the microburst so there's gonna be 11 twists in the villain deck and we're gonna add all 14 cards for an extra hero to the villain deck so i decided to choose uh, forge he is the sixth highest ranked hero in dark city i thought that was a great way to kind of um, add him into the game uh, special rules here's in the villain are micro sized villains with attack equal to their printed cost they have size changing for their card color and no other abilities while in the city when you fight them one player will be able to gain that hero uh, for every twist that's drawn we get to play two cards from the villain deck and when um and evil's gonna win when there are three villains per player that have escaped or the villain deck runs out so six villains escape we are going to lose which is not very fun i would say um it's kind of just a really stressful um uh, actually let's see is it is it harder or easier than um superhero civil war i believe that's the one where no no, no. is that the one where you have to play the, the two cards from the top no no that's escape that's escape the negative zone i believe anyways there's there's a couple other um schemes where you do that where each each scheme twist you just draw two cards at the top of the villain deck i'm just kind of curious if this one is a little easier because of the of uh, having the extra hero the heroes in there hmm that's it we'll have to see We're, we probably are going to do a tier list of all the schemes and the masterminds at some point by the way i think it's gonna be pretty awesome um let's take a look at our take a look at our mastermind here we do have general thunderbolt ross he's kind of got kind of a cool little quirk so uh, only six attack which is pretty low but uh start of the game stack eight bystanders next to general ross as helicopter villains with two attack you can fight them to rescue them as bystanders you can't fight general ross while he has any helicopter so we have to fight through all of those bystanders kind of like a human shield basically before we can get to him uh when our master strike is drawn general ross is going to transform and then we do cross-dimensional hulk rampage so unless we have a hulk card in our victory pile victory pile we are going to get a wound which is probably going to happen quite often um then his backside the transform side is red hulk nine attack and he's wounded fury plus one attack for every single wound that is in the in our player's discard pile uh you can't fight helicopters and they don't stop you from fighting red skull so if it's on this side we basically have to fight him before we can flip it over uh, master strike red red hulk transforms then stack a random bystander from each player's victory pile next to this helicopter each player who didn't have a bystander gains a wound instead so we just want to make sure our, our make sure our victory piles have at least a bystander a piece and we should be able to i don't know, I, I don't know he's, he's not too too difficult he's a little finicky but i think he's gonna be fine one two three four five six 
seven, eight. All right, there's our eight helicopters that are gonna be hooked up to General Ross here. And let's just make sure we can see those so we don't forget about them. All right, uh, we're pretty much set. We'll figure out We'll figure out what's in the villa deck as they pop up, I, I think. Uh, let's get our HQ set up. Ooh, we got ourselves Strength of Spirit. That's Angel's rare card with Animal Instincts, Specialized Ammunition, Ready for Anything, and another Animal Instincts. So we basically have one deck here so far, just this kind of Instinct deck. What's kind of nice about it, Ready for Anything, kind of go in, it can go anywhere, actually, because it's just it's just generically good, I would say. Specialized Ammunition goes pretty well with Angel cards, but with this rare rare card might slow us down just a smidge. We might need to be... I wouldn't be shocked if one of, if one of our players is going to grab a, maybe an officer in the early game. We'll see. All right, let's get set up. We're going to have a mile star us out, and we'll get the game going. All right, starting out with miles here. Top card is going to be we've got Electra Red Blade. This is the this is the code red villain group. Five attack. If you if uh, when you fight her, if you played a covert hero this turn, kill one of your heroes. Just a nice little benefit there. And it looks like we do have a three and three to work with. I really do like um, having schemes like this with like human shields. Just makes me feel really good that I can use all the use my attack even in turns like this. Let's spend two of that. Let's take out one of these bystanders here or helicopters. We got ourselves news report. We do get to draw a car. Not too shabby. Just means that to shuffle early, which is kind of meh. Um, got ourselves an operative suite that does bring us up to four, and that is you know what I think. Um, so yeah, that actually is pretty dang good. I was originally just gonna grab ready for anything, but I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna spend two. Let's grab this animal instincts here, and then we are going to. Let's see what we get here. Okay, uh, okay, drop off a friend. I think we're gonna spend two more and we're gonna grab Animal Instincts here. So we've got two in um, in Miles' deck and replace with a Ready for Anything. Okay, not too shabby. I think if Harrison, if a Harrison needs to pick up one of these, it's not too big of a deal. We want we want at least one of these inside of Miles' deck. That way we can play the Ready for Anything and activate both of the Animal Instincts, which I think is the, I think it's gonna be pretty powerful. So I think it's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. We have the five and one. That's pretty dang cool. Top card is going to be a Modok. This is the henchman group we're using. Three attack. When we fight him, KO a hero from your discard pile or the HQ. If that hero has a star icon, we do get one recruit. Not too shabby, I would say. We can clear out the HQ and get rid of our uh, op our agents nice and early. Well, let's play out here. We do have, let's see, we got five recruit and one attack. And I think what we're going to do, I don't think drop off a friend is going to do too much. It's definitely not going to do it really anything in the early game. But specialized ammunition is pretty dang flexible at this point in the game. We can either get rid of one of our troopers or one of our agents and get four recruit of either one of those. So I think that's that's a pretty good exchange rate. So let's spend five. Let's grab a specialized ammunition. We don't have any Iceman cards show up so far, so we haven't decided who's going to end up with that one yet. And there we go. We got Ice Slide. So whoever picks that up, I think they're just going to be pretty happy. I think Miles... Miles can easily pick that up. The, the extra draw cards from the Animal Instincts can help out with that. So I think it's gonna wrap us up. But just having one of these in the HQ doesn't doesn't really pull me 100% into the archetype, I would say. All right, passing over to Miles here. We've got the four and two. Top card is going to be a Scheme Twist. Okay, so we have to draw two more cards from the villain deck. Next one is gonna be a Radioactive Man. Uh, let's see, this is the Thunderb Thunderbolt villain group. Which actually goes along with the name. Uh, six attack. If he escapes, we're going to fortify the wound stack. While it's fortified, whenever a player gains a wound, that player gains an additional wound. We definitely don't want that escaping. That is a nasty one. And the next one is going to be another Modoc. Okay. Some pressure. Okay. Well, we got the two attack. It looks like we have four recruit. So I think we're going to spend the two. Let's take out one of these, one of these helicopters. Got ourselves, ooh, Wolfsbane. Uh, berserk, Berserk, Berserk when, we, when it's played. So we get the attack, the printed attack every card that is discarded when we do the Berserk ability. And we do have four recruit. I think we're gonna go down to one. Let's pick up the raid for anything that should be able to activate both of our animal instincts, which is good. Second copy of Ice Slide. Okay, we're starting to get the pull for, for those Ice Man cards. Okay, we got the three and three for um, Harrison here, which is good. We can take out one of these henchmen. Top card is gonna be a henchman. All right, great. Let's see what we can do about it. Okay, let's play. We're gonna go three and three. Okay, let me think about this. Let's see. Um, so we're gonna fight the Modoc. I think. Let's see, the only thing we can KO is the Ray for anything. I think we, that's the one we want to recruit. So let's recruit. Let's recruit Ray for anything first. So like I said, just generically good. It can go in either deck. Let's get that replaced with a whatever the cost. So we'll have to KO a card. Is it from our? Let's see. From our discard pile. So it's not the hand either, or hero we played. Okay, so let's spend three. Let's take out this Modoc here. So, and we're gonna KO a card with a recruit icon. I guess we could have gone up to four, but I don't think that would have changed what I what I picked. So we're gonna KO one of these agents, getting rid of that, and it's gonna wrap us up. 
All right, passing over to Miles here. Things are going pretty good. We want to get these attack cards nice and early because, like I said, I mean, our city's already full. Or already full, almost full. So we want to be able to take these out nice and early so we can avoid these early escapes. Top card is going to be a Crimson Dynamo. For attack, when we fight him, choose a recovered hero in the HQ. It costs two less this turn. Okay, well, let's play out. Let's play out both of our animal instincts. We're going to draw a card, and then we're going to activate one of these and draw another, draw another card, and we get two attack. Let's play out the rest of these. We're going to go up to four attack, and we're also going to play these, going up to four recruit. Not too shabby, I would say. Okay, so we have four. We can hit. We could do the Crimson Dynamo, but we don't have a Cobra card in the HQ that we can get the reduction with, which might be fine. It's not that big of a deal. Let me think. It would be Bishop or I guess we do have some. I do have a decent amount of un, uh, commons. We could get up to five and grab ourselves a drop off a friend, which wouldn't be too bad. We do have the card in the discard pile to do that. I think we're going to go down to one. Let's take out the Modoc here. And we don't want, there's nothing in the uh, HQ we can KO, but we can get rid of one of our operatives in our discard pile. And we're going to gain ourselves a recruit. And then, yeah, I think we are going to spend all five of this. Let's grab a drop off a friend. And let's get that replaced with an absorb energy is great. Uh, we have a target for Crimson Dynamo, which is awesome. And that should wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison here. Top card is going to be Scheme Twist. Okay, this isn't looking too hot here. Top card, Modoc. One more. Got ourselves a Dirty Work. That's one of Forge's cards. So this Electra is going to escape, unfortunately. So that means we do have one escape so far. Do gotta get rid of card in the HQ, and I'm honestly not 100% sure. Um, this 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 guy's really slowing me down by quite a bit. I want to keep the absorb energies because we could. Let's see, we can't hit Crimson Dynamo this turn. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We can get up to six recruit. That's pretty good. Man, if that was a if that was an agent, we could grab that. But for the six, we could start moving into the ice the ice man deck, which wouldn't be too terrible of a plan, I would say. So, but no, no, we need, we need to clear something out of the HQ, so we're the only have four. So, let's see. And do we get rid of one of the ice slides? That is an extremely powerful card. There's a lot of, let's see, man. I think, man, absorb energy. Man, I don't know what to get rid of. What would you guys get rid of here? This is actually a really tough decision here, I would say. Maybe the ice slide. Man, because I really, because right now, because right now kind of my game plan is, I think I'm going to be recruiting Bishop. Um, I think what I think kind of the goal is Harrison's gonna be grabbing these because while these increase the amount of range cards that are getting played, we also have the animal instincts in in uh, Miles' deck that also draws the card, which is kind of the main thing. What whatever the cost does, so I'm hoping to grab one of these. Man, I think I think we're gonna get rid of absorb energies. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the right call, but ah, man, no, no, no. I think we're gonna get rid of an ice slide. Okay, let's do that. Let's get that replaced with a whatever the cost. Okay. All right, let's play out here. We're going to get three attack, and it looks like we're going to get four recruit. We could get that up to five, actually, which I think we're going to do. Let's spend three. Let's take out Modoc. Oh, wait, no, I don't have a... Dang, I don't have a, uh, a discard pile at the moment. Man, slow me down by a little bit here. Um, okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend three. Let's take out Dirty Work, and I think, I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I think Harrison's going to grab this. And then we can spend four. We're going to spend two, grab whatever the cost. Let's get that replaced with absorb energies. And let's spend another two, grab whatever the cost. And we got the second ice light anyway, so that's good. And I think that's going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Miles. Ooh, he could pick up strength of spirit. Oh boy. Okay. Top card is going to be a Modoc. Okay, well, I can't fight anything anyway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, full on seven. We're gonna spend seven, scrap strength of spirit. spirit. I lit, even if I play this, I could hit a helicopter, that's it. So I think this is gonna, we just gotta hope we don't hit a bad chain of scheme twist here. Frostbike armor, it's perfect. Okay, I, th I think Miles is gonna be shooting for these and Harris is gonna be shooting for these. I think that's the goal right now. All right, let's pass it on over. 
Okay, looking pretty good here. Top card is gonna be okay. Thank the Lord. Okay, um, Red Red She Hulk. She has Wounded Fury, six attack, fight. Each player reveals a covert hero or is gonna gain a wound. If she escapes, same effect. So we are gonna the Modok is going to escape, which is pretty unfortunate. That means there's two in the escape pile. We have to KO one card. I think we can get rid of one of these absorb energies. I think we want to start stashing these around. Let's get that replaced with a drop off a friend. Okay, let's see what we can do. We can get up to four. We can get up to five attack. Which isn't gonna be too much. We could let's see. We can get this down to one. That's pretty good. We're gonna play specialized ammunition discarding a trooper. That means we're gonna get five attack. And looks like we got three recruit to work with here. There you are. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna spend all but one of that. Let's take out Crimson Dynamo. Uh, Absorb Energies is going to cost one, uh, two less this turn. Is it two less? Yep, two less. And then we'll spend one, grab ourselves an Absorb Energies. Replace that with a Lucky Break. Not bad. Do we have... That can go in either deck, really, I would say. Because we have this. We're mostly full of Bishop cards. That's probably going to play a little bit better in Miles' deck. I could just grab a sidekick, though. Which wouldn't be too bad. Nah, I think we're going to spend one. Let's grab Lucky Break here. Let's just get the HQ freshened up, too. I got a Diving Catch. That's great. Okay, so whoever has... Yeah, let's see. I think Miles also has... <laughs> Does he have to drop off a friend as well? My goodness. Um, let me just double check my discard pile. Yeah, so... Yeah, I feel like Miles has got everything going on for him. All right, let's pass it on over. All right, passing to Miles here. All right, top card is going to be... Got ourselves a Dirty Work. Okay. Well, let's see. You may discard a card. You get plus one attack equal to the cost of that card. I could do this and just get three attack. It's not too shabby. That'd be five. That's not a bad plan, actually. I think I'm going to go for the guarantee three attack rather than doing the berserks. So, okay. So play drop our friend, discarding Wolfsbane. That's going to give us a five attack. We're going to play Animal Instincts going up to seven. We get the draw card. Got ourselves a soldier. Play that out. Eight, nine. That's perfect. And then we have two recruit to play with. Okay. Got nine. What can we do with nine? We could start... Hit, we could take out some Modox here. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. We could start thinning our... Thinning the discard pile pretty quickly. Yeah, well, we have three hits here. That's pretty good. Yeah, so this is what we're doing. We're going to spend nine. Oh, man, but that radioactive man. So if I get this up to three, I can't grab anything. But if I could get up to four, I could pick up Diving Catch, or I could start grabbing these. I could probably just grab Frostbike Armor. It's three attack. Oh, no, I can only get to four. So I can grab an Ice Slide. I think I might just grab a Diving Catch, actually. Because I have the... Yeah, okay. So... Nah. We want, we want to clear these out as much as we can. So let's spend nine. We're going to hit Dirty Work. We're going to give that to Harrison, actually. Okay, then we're going to hit this Modoc. We're going to KO an operative. Let's see. Yeah. We're going to KO an operative from the discard pile, gaining a recruit. We're going to hit this Modoc, taking him out. And then we're going to KO another operative. Oop. Let's see. Right there. Okay. And then we have that brings us up to four. Let's spend the four. Let's grab a diving catch. Let's get that replaced with a concussive blast. And I think that's going to wrap us up. I think, you know, I keep saying Harrison, Miles is going to pick up these Ice Man cards, but Harrison does have plenty of. Um, bishop cards now. He has two of those whatever the cost, so I think he'll be able to pick these up too. So I think these are kind of open game now. Alright, passing over to Harrison. Top card is going to be another dirty work. Not too bad. Okay, well we do have these do have size changing, correct? Size changing for their card color. So we can actually reduce that down to one just by doing that. That's pretty good. Okay, let's play dirty work. Let's see. We can go two, three, and four. Go to four. So we can do one. Let's see, I could get this up to six. Yeah, let's let's just let's just do it. We're gonna play ready for anything for attack. Then we have to have two recruits. So let's spend two. Let's grab ourselves a sidekick here. Got ourselves just a standard one. And then we're gonna spend six. Let's take out this radioactive man. He just makes me really nervous. When he said, ah, man, but then that does kind of waste that. Um no, that's fine. No, it's fine. We're gonna hit radioactive man, taking him out, and I think that's gonna wrap us up. Alright, passing on man, just all attack. All attack for Miles. Top card is going to be a Mach uh, 4. 5 attack. When we fight him, each player has to reveal a tech hero or is going to gain a wound. If he escapes, same effect. 
Okay. Well, let's see. This is, yeah. So let's play this. We're going to Berserk three times. And we didn't get any attack, actually, off of that, which is pretty sad. Um, so let's play. And we discarded some great cards there. Let's play Animal Instincts. It's going to give us two attack. And we got ourselves an Operative on the draw. Let's play out all of our soldiers here, going up to six. And we have one Recruit. Okay, so let's see. Each player to reveal. We don't have that. We don't have that, so fighting these doesn't really make a ton of sense. So let's go down two, three. Let's hit dirty work, and we're giving that over to uh, we're gonna give that over to Harrison here, and we can go down to one, and let's hit one of these uh, helicopters. Got ourselves a paramedic that would have been came in helpful when we do start gaining wounds, and that should wrap us up. Okay, passing over to Harrison. We've got a pretty sweet setup here. Top card is going to be. Got ourselves a Punisher, Red Dot Sniper. Uh, six attack, reveal the top card, card of your deck. If it is a cost, if it costs zero, KO it. If it's a covert hero, draw it. Okay, we don't have a way currently to activate these ones. And we currently don't have a way to draw cards other than these. So let's play whatever the cost, we're gonna draw a card. Got ourselves Lucky Break. Let's play, ooh, here, let's play, um, let's play Specialized Ammunition. We are going to discard this. We're gonna get four attack and four recruit because it had an attack and a recruit symbol, which is great. Let's see, agent's gonna go there. Let's play dirty work. It's gonna go up to six, and, he, and they're gonna get negative two for the turn. Going up to six, and then this isn't activated, but we can play that to draw another card. Trooper, going up to seven. Okay, so he got negative two from dirty work. So he's at four, five, six, seven. That means we have three. We still, well, I have a tech. Let's see, I don't think Miles does. See, so yeah, I just heads up, there's a thunderstorm going on above me. So if you hear a boom, it's just thunder. So anyways, let's get back to this. So um, don't really want to hit either of these. Miles doesn't have a covert or a tech card in his hand. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go down to three. Let's take out this Punisher Red Dot Sniper. And we'll reveal the top card of our deck. That's a covert with the draw it. No way. There you go. Let's play that. Going up to five. I guess we could just hit. Nah, nah, nah. Let's go one, two. Let's take out a helicopter. Got ourselves computer hacker. We're gonna draw an extra card at the end of the turn. And then let's go down to one. Let's hit it one more time. Got ourselves a regular bystander. Okay, now we do have six recruit we can play with here. And I think we do have plenty of, we got two of those whatever the cost. So I think we can start moving into the Iceman deck. And I think, yeah, I think we're just gonna spend one, spend five, grab Frostbite armor. I mean, it does three attack already. And it's more than likely gonna draw us at least one card. So. I think we're gonna go with that and we're gonna replace it with a diving catch and I think that's gonna wrap us up all right passing on over to miles here top card is going to be got ourselves a scheme twist so we're gonna draw two more cards got ourselves crimson crimson dynamo and that's the one to four attack and when we fight fight him a covert card in the HQ uh, cost reduced by two and got ourselves a modok not too shabby okay so can who man we could just play could just play drop off a friend discarding this and getting seven eight nine nine attack it's not too shabby and then we could hmm this is actually not not looking like a bad idea it's four so we can go four five six hmm because we want some recruit i think we want to i think we want to try and move into some of this uh I think we want to pick up drop off a friend here actually so yeah i think we're gonna play drop off a friend discarding strength of spirit it's gonna give us a total of seven eight nine attack and then we're gonna play this out for recruit getting us to five so i think we're gonna spend that five let's grab drop off a friend let's see where do i want to no yeah let's do that let's get that replaced with a sudden ambush that's a great card in either deck it's literally just gonna give me four attack every single time I play because I'm drawing enough cards every turn okay so we have nine nine to work with here um, we could let's see I don't have a way to gain that let's see because we could reduce this down to two and if we hit a Modoc hmm um, I think what we're gonna do let's go one two and three let's uh let's take out the Modoc here we do get to KO a card with a recruit icon from our discard pile and we do have an operative in there so let's get rid of that we're gonna go up to one um let's see 
I th let's see. Let's let's see if we can get lucky here. Let's spend two. Let's hit a hit a helicopter. Got ourselves just a standard one. We could hit this, but then we'd miss out on the opportunity to do that, which I think is fine actually. It's not. Now nah, let's maximize it. We're gonna spend four. Let's just hit two more of these. Okay, so he doesn't have any, any helicopters, so we can hit him now. Uh, we got ourselves a banker. Uh, ow! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, when you risk this bystander, you get two recruit usable only for the HQ under the, under the bank. <sighs> Man, that's embarrassing. And got ourselves a forklift driver. When you rescue this bystander, put any number of heroes from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. Okay, so I think we're going to bottom sudden ambush and con concussive blast because we can't recruit anything there. We can't recruit it there anyways with the recruit we have. So if we do that, let's see. Got ourselves an absorb energies and a deep freeze. Not too bad. Let's spend three. Let's pick up an absorb energies. Do I want absorb energies in this deck? It is just two attack, which isn't too bad. I think I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Let's, uh, yeah. Uh, replace with a high speed chase. And that should wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison here. Top card is going to be, got a radioactive man. When he escapes, he is going to dish out wounds when we gain wounds. Okay, let's play the sidekick here. Let's draw two extra two cards. Not too shabby. Let's play whatever the cost to draw a card. Got ourselves a trooper. Okay, let's see. I think we want to we can get up to five attack. Let's see. Does Miles have a tech card in hand? Nah, so I think, I think we're going to be taking you out, actually. So let's play specialized ammunition. Let's discard a trooper. We're going to get four attack, going up to five with this guy. Let's play out our recruit here. We've got four. So let's go down to one. Let's take out Crimson Dynamo. We're going to reduce, reduce the cost of high speed chase down to one. Let's spend one. Let's pick that up. Let's get that replaced with a diving catch. And then we're going to spend two, grab ourselves a deep freeze. Let's get that replaced with a sudden ambush. And that should wrap us up. All right, passing over to, to uh, Miles here. Top card is gonna be, got ourselves a Songbird. Uh, five attack, when we fight her, each player without another tr Thunderbolt villain on the victory pile is gonna gain a wound. Let's just double check. Looks like, um, let's see, let me just check here real quick. So Harrison has one, Miles does not. So we wanna get Miles to maybe take, the, yeah, probably take out this guy first. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's, so let's play our Wolfsbane. We're going to Berserk three times. Okay, we do, we do, wow, we got attack here, actually, two, three, four, five. We got five attack off of that, which wasn't, isn't too shabby. It's pretty dang good, actually. <laughs> Let's play Animal Instincts. We're gonna go by two and draw a card. Got ourselves, ooh, Strength of Spirit, perfect. Let's play Animal Instincts. We're gonna go by another two, drawing a card. Ooh, drop off a friend. Let's play Drop Off Friend. We're gonna go up to 11. Uh, we're gonna discard Diving Catch. That's gonna give us four more attack. One, two, three, and four. When we do that, we, have, we get to draw two cards and rescue a bystander. Got ourselves a standard one, and we have to draw two cards. Okay, I think we're gonna play this Strength of Spirit. Going up one, two, three, and four. We're gonna discard these four cards, and we're gonna draw four cards. <laughs> not too not too much of a improvement there. Let's, pl let's spend that out for two. We can go up to four, which I think we want to do. Let's go down to four. And we'll play this up for an even 20. 20 attack and four recruit. Not shabby at all. So I think we're going to spend 10 of that. Ugh, where are you? We're going to spend 10 of that. First, we're going to hit radio. Oh, no, no. It's 11, actually. We can do that. First, we're going to hit radioactive band, taking him out. And then we're going to hit Songbird. Both players do have a Thunderbolt card in the victory pile, so we're covered there. Um, man, let's see. I think... Let's spend four. Let's hit. The, let's grab a Diving Catch here. And let's get that replaced with a Frostbike Armor. Dude, everything, man. I'm not going to lie. We've been really, really lucky with these... Uh, with the cards we've been getting in here, because this Angel deck's coming together pretty well, too. So let's uh, go down to three. And we're going to fight the... Uh, Thunder, th uh, General Thunderbolt Ross got ourselves uh, uh, bust you down to private um, fight each other each other player puts a non gray hero from their hand on the bottom of the hero deck then puts a zero cost hero from the KO pile into their hand that uh, the mastermind transforms so we're gonna transform into this let's see hold on zero cost from the KO pile into their hand 
Okay, so what that means. Okay, let's see what uh, Miles can get rid of here. Okay, not too shabby. We're just gonna grab the uh, dirty work and we'll put that in the HQ at the bottom of it. And then I do get to gain. Let's see, I think all we have is uh, all we have is operatives, so we'll just gain this one. Do I have a regular one just so it matches? I do. Here, let's just get that to match. There we go. Okay. Is that wait? Does that go on my hand? Hold on. I always check the warding on all these things, right? Uh, zero cost from the KO pot into their hand. Okay, sounds good. And um, can't fight any of these actually at all. So with the three attack, we're just gonna pass and see what my, uh, Harrison can do. I mean, he's got a pretty sweet hand, I would say. Top card is going to be, we've got a reboot. This is a great card with Forge, actually. Okay, so let's see, we wanna get that activated. So let's play Absorb Energies first. It's gonna give us two attack. We're then going to play a whatever the cost. It's gonna draw us a card and then we can just KO a card from our hand or discard pile. Let's KO this uh, agent. That's gonna trigger absorb energies. I'm gonna get two, two recruit off of that. Okay, let's play the Frostbike Armor. It's gonna give us up to five. We'll get to draw one card. There's the trooper. Let's play the rest of these out, going up to five, and then one going up to six. So I need, I have two I can add to it. I think we could just take out the reboot. I think I'm fine with that. Let's see, I got the two. So yeah, I think we're just gonna play this as, as a recruit. We'll go up to seven. Okay, uh, we're gonna go, well, we're definitely gonna go down to two. And we're gonna grab a second Frostbite Armor, which is incredible. Replace with whatever the cost. It's just, it's all coming up. Let's spend two, grab whatever the cost. Replace with Lucky, lucky uh, Break. Let's go down to two. Let's grab Reboot here. Fight it, and I think we're gonna gain it. And I think that is going to wrap us up. All right, let's pass it on over two miles. Top card is gonna be a dirty work. Okay, let's play drop off a friend to discard a diving catch. So it's gonna be a total of six attack, right? One, two, yep, six. And we get to rescue a bystander, which is a public speaker. We get to gain a recruit. And we get to draw two cards. Okay, whoops. Ooh, okay, we got strength of spirit here. Yeah, so let's let's play strength of spirit. We're gonna go up to ten attack already. Discard these four cards. We're gonna draw four. Okay, looks like we have diving catch. A let's see, diving catch, wolf spane, and operative. Okay, I don't know if there's a way we can discard that. Let's play a wolf spane here. Uh, we got the printed attack of three, not too bad. Go up to 13. Let's play everything else out. That's four, go up to five. <clears throat> and then we can do this for attack. Can I go up to seven? Let's see. Seven, this would bring me down to six. This would give me down to four. Wouldn't be too bad. Let's, um, yeah, let's play this as recruit, actually. Go up to seven. Okay, let's see. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, let's uh, let's do six. I guess I don't. Do I really want that? I think we can get that. I think that's not a big deal. But I think Harrison wants it more. So four, five, six. Let's go down to three. Actually, let's grab a sudden ambush. Let's get that replaced with a concussive blast. Man, now nah, let's spend one. Let's just grab this. It goes in either deck. Place with a specialized ammunition. Let's spend the two. Let's just grab ourselves a sidekick here. Got ourselves Lockjaw. Okay, now we have 13 attack we can play with here. So let's go one, two, three. Let's hit Dirty Work and give that over to uh, Harrison here. Let's also go down to one. Let's hit Red, Red Hulk here. Okay, got ourselves. Urban Warfare, put a random bystander next to the mastermind as a helicopter Helicopter from each of these places. The bystander stack, let's do that right now. Uh, the bystander stack, the escape pile, each city space, <clears throat> and uh, each other player's victory pile. So we're just gonna be grabbing uh, three. I'm just gonna randomly grab each one. Okay, 
He's going to get three of these, and then he's going to transform. Okay. And I think that's going to wrap us up for the turn. Whoops, other way around. All right, passing on over to Harrison. Let's see what we got. Got ourselves a bystander. Okie dokie. Let's see. Um, if these being activated isn't going to really do much. So let's play both of those. Give us four. Let's play Lucky Break. I think we're just going to go for attack right now. Where do I need recruit? Nah, I don't think I have much to get recruit anyway. So let's go up to five there. Let's play up this. And yeah, none of it's activated. So we're going to go up to nine attack. It looks like just one recruit. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we're just going to go one, two, three, four five and six and we're gonna hit all three of these let's go with paramedic we don't have any wounds the standard and news reporter get to draw us a card got ourselves a trooper go up to four but i don't think there's anything we can do with that and i think it's gonna wrap us up all right passing over to miles he's got a sweet 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 deck i love angel angel is one of my favorites to play around he just feels really clever as you play top cards dirty work all right let's see what we can do here um, okay, we got a little bit of card draw here. Let's see, we want to play all this before that. Hmm. Let's see, I've played be like this. You know, it's a pretty sweet hand, actually. So I think we're going to play Drop Off a Friend, discarding the Strength of Spirit. Seven, eight, nine. So we already got nine. Then we're going to play Animal Instincts Activated to go to 11, drawing a card. Okay, let's play Sudden Ambush. It's going to bring us up to 15 because I drew a card. Lucky Breaks and gives us a 16, and I get to draw a card. Got ourselves a Lockjaw. Um, I could do Phasing if I wanted to. Let's go up to 17. Let's Phase. I think we have a little bit more synergy at other places. And we don't. We have Drop Off a Friend. <laughs> so let's play that for two. Uh, we'll discard this, I guess. Okay, 19 attack. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, um, yeah, okay. Let's go down to 13. Let's hit him. Got ourselves personal arsenal. For each master strike in the KO pile, put a bystander for the bystander stack next to this master as a helicopter. We haven't actually drawn a single one, so I think we're good there. Um, he's gonna transform though, and then we're gonna go. Let's see, up to f down to four. Let's hit red red Hulk. Got ourselves. Call out the army. Put three bystanders from the bystander stack next to the mastermind. Okay, we could do that. One, two, three. And then we're actually going to fight two of those. We're going to take all but that one. Oh, wait, no, I can't actually. No, 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 wait, wait. No, I can't because it transforms. Okay, got ourselves standard and animal trainer. Um, it's, about, it's about recruiting, which we're not doing this turn. All right, we just got to hit them. Got to hit him one more time. And I think, let's see if Harrison can pull that off. All right, passing over to Harrison. Let's see if he can pull this off. Top card is going to be a Thundra for attack. Thundra gets plus two attack for if there are any number of cohort heroes in the HQ. Ambush, put a non uh, cohort hero from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. Okay. Uh, we'll bottom cast a blast. Okie dokie. I think I actually got it no matter what. So let's play. High speed chase, we'll draw two cards. We'll discard that. Play this out for two. Play this out up to four. Play that for two. Oh wait, hold on, I guess. No, okay, we have to play this, pitching this to go up to eight and plus four recruit, four, five, six, go up to six. Okay. So, um, no, yeah, go down there. We're gonna hit the helicopter. Got ourselves an opera singer. It's going to shatter something, but it doesn't matter because we're going to spend six and we're going to take out General Ross. My goodness, what a game. Wow. Um, man, there was a lot of kind of tug and pull in terms of who's going to get Iceman, but he really wasn't the star. Angel. Angel is the MVP of this game for sure. My goodness. Yeah, Miles' deck was really sweet. You got plenty of card draw using some some, animals, some stuff from like Wolverine. Drop off a friend is great. Either discarding the rare card or especially the diving catch, which is amazing. Uh, Domino Domino was pulled in just from just to do whatever she did. Honestly, just a really really solid game.
I was really excited about that, actually. So we took out took out Thunderbolt Ross, and we uh, got the heroes out from the, uh, the Microverse, which is pretty dang sweet. So yeah, either way, guys, hope you guys had a great time. Keep your heads up. I'll see you next time.